Hey guys, what's happening? Happy weekend to all of you. Um, you are here once again from Dhaka, Bangladesh. So this video, I wanted to take a couple of more days uh, to do the review or initial impression, but I got a couple of requests from all the way from India. Uh, so some of my brothers, they uh, want a review on this particular perfume, like initial impression, even it will do for them because they are trying to uh, um, buy the fragrance and it's an expensive clone rather. So the fragrance is getting a lot of hype lately in India, Asian zone, and it's from house of UAE. So let me show you the fragrance I'm about to do initial impression on. It's called Charuto, or I don't know, Charuto, maybe. Uh, it's, the name is pretty much bold. It's called Tobacco Veni. Uh, that is actually, if you guys know, Tom Ford also has a Tobacco Veni fragrance, and this is what exactly tried to clone. So uh, perhaps, you know, the name, uh, <laughs> It's a little bit I have an issue with it. I mean, not really issue to say like let's say you should, when you do a clone shouldn't make exact name clone. Maybe it could be tobacco vanilla or something. That would be just okay. Anyway, so this 100 ml EDP and I believe this is very expensive. I think uh, big thanks to Anisa Manbhai who uh, brought this fragrance for me to check and review and uh, I'm trying to remember everything all the things I want to say in the video. Um, also, the fragrance was uh, available on USB page, UK Shopping from BD. Uh, owner Ifran Bhai brought it at unbelievable price, 1,400 taka. That translates to pretty much 15 bucks, 15 US dollars or 16 US dollars, uh, give or take if you do a flat rate. Um, that is unbelievable. So this fragrance, I personally feel I'm not trying to hype it up or anything. I believe the quality is almost like any other fragrance is worth at least 25 to 45 dollars, you know, that good. So I will show you a couple of other fragrances and this fragrance I put it on a paper yesterday, tested it for longevity. I'm also wearing it in my hand. I'll do a fresh spray, I'll talk about it and I'll let you know what I think of this particular perfume. So the fragrance, uh, here's the thing. It's called, uh, the fragrance house I think is originally called Paris Corner, okay? Uh, yes, Paris Corner and then they said Pandora Sense. Perhaps it's their other line. Here is the box. It's pretty nice looking box and I think it's, I don't know how to say his name properly in Bangladesh. It's a Che Guevara. I think that's pretty much wrong, but he's the he's an iconic character, and I really love that photograph of him with the cigar on. Like he is like very big hero in Bangladesh as well. So look at this beautiful. Uh, it almost looks like a, I don't know. Uh, the the color combination is pretty nice, bold green and red, and then it says tobacco Veni, charuto, and Pandora scents, 100 ml. I'm just showing you that in uh, like what to expect from the box. It has nice lines. You can feel these are embossed. You can feel this. These are raised uh, the back. This is where it says Paris Corner and here's the sticker for <laughs> authenticity, I guess. But this is a clone. So I don't ha I don't think they will clone a clone. And here's the line continues. Really, really lovely presentation. And uh, you cannot ask for more than this. I mean, attention detailing. You cannot ask for more at this price point. Okay. The bottle here is really, really beautiful. I really like this bottle. Remind me sort of like a fragrance I had called Cigar, Remy Latour Cigar. It had the same body or glass color, but I sold it off so I can show you right now. But this bottle is very heavy, very big, and it's really good attention to details, okay? So just like that box, the bottle also has this picture, and it's a Spendera Sense, Tobacco Veni, and the cap up there. It also has detailing, really lovely. At the back, price corner, bottom looks like that. It's very heavy, I mean, the glass is, this thick here okay so uh, the it has good quality you don't think like it's a cheap fragrance so it's, you get a cheap cheap bottle okay so yeah i'm showing you in detail what to expect a to z and the cap doesn't really click onto place but it's more like a snug fit kind of but i don't really trust it because the bottle is much heavier than the cap cap is very good quality plastic but it's lighter compared to the ratio with the bottle so i really like it i mean it's front i don't think it's i think it's metal plate and it's just glued even the attention inside they glued this on the cap so all these things really really good so let's see how good this fragrance is okay so dry down is here pretty much let's spray this sprayer it's okay not bad it gives you like one click spray it doesn't go like savage doesn't have the smooth sprayer it doesn't have like very big mist it's somewhere like say uh, i would give the sprayer about 7.5 out of 10. It does the job for the price very very good uh, nothing much on the atomizer so uh, yeah just because the cheap fragrance don't think I do a quickie like two minutes <laughs> because I like to uh, take my time and break it down because this fragrance is absolute bargain for people who are looking for a good tobacco vanilla scent or uh, 
rather inexpensive replacement for a very expensive niche fragrance this is for people like those i'm not gonna say just students anybody looking to not to break their bank add a fragrance to a collection full bottle this is a full package and i'll tell you what i mean so this fragrance is pretty beautiful opening uh here's the thing let me talk about tobacco vini i have small little sample the vintage version thanks to ananda mustafa's bhai who gifted me this one i transferred it here this tobacco vini was never my favorite fragrance i loved tuscan leather a lot i loved uh Oud, oud, wood. I liked uh, some other like black orchid. I liked uh, was the one noir extreme. All these fragrances like Tom Ford is kind of like a love or hate, you know, hit or miss, or let's say very daring kind of fragrance house. Okay, so you do not really love all the fragrances. Once you fall in love, you love them, but sometimes you cannot really grasp. So Tobacco Vini is such a strong fragrance. You know, I really lived in a very hot country, Malaysia, Bangladesh, and when I kind of saw it like it's not a high heat kind of fragrance it's a very cold weather kind of fragrance it has beautiful accords of tobacco vanilla and sometimes it feels like amber and it has familiar territory gourmand territory just like some other tom ford so when i smell it for the first time you know i i thought like no this is not my cup of tea i called it pass recent days when i reviewed it i said i like it but i'm not sure i like it over tuscan leather but very strong fragrance okay so if you like fragrance like Faith Dilly's Use, if you like, uh, there's another fragrance from Britain, Red Britain, I forgot the name. Uh, they also have uh, the Odd Fellas Bouquet, that I forgot the house name, what's the house called? Um, I forgot the name. So they have similar, something similar to this. And also some people say Harrod has kind of like a feel of Tobacco Vini. And I'll show you a couple of other fragrances this one reminds me of. So when you spray it for the first time, it has this beautiful, uh, no alcoholic blast. It has a beautiful kind of like lighter version of Tobacco Vini opening. And it does remind me of two other fragrances right away, not just Tobacco Vini. And I'll tell you, this is why this is special. Tom Ford, uh, this is Amber Absolute, another precious gift from Ananda Mustafa is why I treasure this. I just wait for winter to come. Just one spray, I enjoy it to the max. One of the best Amber fragrances ever, okay? So this one, uh, the Charuto one, this one reminds me of Amber Absolute. And then my favorite 1821 Sweet Tobacco Spirit Man-Made. This is more of a pure Havan, Naxos, that territory, but it has a sort of like cherry, tonka, uh, kind of like a sweet um, tobacco feel, which is kind of like very potent. Mm -hmm. So all this fragrance you see, this is one fragrance that reminds me of all of them, perhaps because of their similarity to each other. So this one has that the spicy cinnamony that that opening that you get also from tobacco vini if you love tobacco vini this you just close your eyes you can be blind and buy this <laughs> because if, if you want to get even a decant of tobacco vini it's going to be more pricier than this one at least double the price so yes if you talk about value absolute value okay no doubt about it. you can get 10 ml decant for double the price of this full bottle of tobacco vini so there you go solves the mystery presentation wise you cannot complain anymore what you get from this i like a lot of these cheaper fragrances they really surprise you uh, some of the midnight oud some of the clones i mean amouage interlude clone unbelievable how good they are but they are from different house okay so this one right here i would say if you are looking for a fragrance you know like say winter time this is gonna be good winter fragrance a climate control zone this is gonna be good perfume for that but when the high heat comes do not apply too much of it this is still a very potent juice on the paper i sprayed it last night I think around 8 o'clock, I woke up, I still can smell it pretty. I'm not saying it's, it's really projecting like a beast, like many other, say, Fahrenheit Lepa Farm or DHP, Dior Bar Farm. No, it doesn't have that kind of presence anymore, but it can still detect it. So it's still there. So on the skin, I think it's going to last you about at least 5-6 hours easily on skin. On the clothes, it's going to last you. If you want to make it last in the winter time, yeah, you don't have, you have to reapply in the middle of the day. Just go on the clothes, that's it. I think it's a pretty unisex perfume, just like Tobago Vini. It has the richness, definitely. It has very good quality. Mohit Bhai, whatever review he did, and I think Wet Cell, uh, uh, I think he did uh, from Philippines, yes. Uh, they did absolute great review on this. I haven't seen any other reviews. So definitely check it out. I think you can find it in India, Mohit Bhai's page, and many other sellers are selling Bangladesh. USB is selling, I think, perfume Bangladesh. Uh, Masud Bhai will bring this as well. Absolute bargain perfume, okay? Absolutely, like, it's not, like, cheap price tag so cheap perfume or cheap knockoff or anything very good clone right so check it out uh, charuto charuto tobacco veni pandora sense uh, too much name to remember and also from paris corner <laughs> just remember this uh, fragrance okay so i am giving that fragrance for absolute bargain 10 out of 10 
I wouldn't give tobacco any 10 out of 10. Do you know why? Because it's not my number one favorite fragrance. But what you get in return as like 15 bucks, <laughs> what you're gonna invest in that one for that value. It's getting, being a clone of tobacco veni and kind of similar to those other fragrance that I showed you, uh, even kind of like a fave delicious also. So you get all those fill in the one perfume for 15 odd dollars. That's what gets that a 10. You can hate the review, you can hate me for uh, talking about cheap perfumes, but I like to provide solution for like anybody who loves fragrances, but not everybody is in the same budget, right? So I like to do budget fragrances. So absolutely, when, when I get good quality, makes me very happy. And even it's much easier, lighter take on tobacco venue, so which is good. Tobacco venue will last you, mind it, uh, it will last you around 15, 16 hours. This is gonna last you seven to eight hours and a uh, mild projection if you have it on your clothes almost all day. So cannot ask for more. So that's the review for Charuto, Tobacco Veni, Pandora Sands by Paris Corner, <sighs> EDP. <laughs> Hope I could do justice and check it out. All right, everybody have a nice day and weekend. I'll see you soon, bye-bye.